Hey, this is Florian, online tennis instruction. In today's video, I want to talk to you about how much knee bend you should have on your topspin ground strokes. If you follow our videos, you know that we often uh, use the old Vic Braden saying of sit down in the chair and come back up. And some people have commented, well, I never see players get that low. And that's a very good comment, actually. So I want to clarify that here in this video. So when we're hitting topspin ground strokes, power is generated from the ground up. We need to coil our upper body. We coil our legs. We bend and then we uncoil and then we go from down to up. And that's a very important um, power source on our topspin ground strokes. And most of the tennis that I see at the club level, students that come to our clinics, look something like this. Okay, there's very little down and up movement and there's very little knee bend. And because most players rarely bend or get low enough, um, we tell them to sit down in the chair and then come back out of the chair. Now, if I would actually sit down in a chair, it would be this low. Now, I'm not going to get that low when I actually hit my shot, so it is an exaggeration. I wanted to clarify that. So how low do we usually get? Okay, so if I hit a regular topspin forehand shot, it's going to be something like this. If you look at the angle here, it's not anywhere near 90 degree angle, but I'm not straight up either. It's somewhere in between around here. This would be on a normal shot. This would be a good knee bend. And then I uncoil from here and I come back up and I can generate a lot more power on my forehand if I have that down and up movement um, included in my swing. Let's look at this from the side angle as well. So basic forehand shot, my knee bend is going to be something like this right here and then I hit and come back up. Now it of course varies with what kind of a ball we're dealing with. Let's say I'm dealing with a very low ball, I'll probably get uh, around this low. It's still not quite sitting down in the chair but it's close enough, okay? And then if I'm dealing with a higher ball, um, I'm not going to bend that much but I still need that push off. So I need to go down, okay, on, against a high ball down push off and that's very very important. If we don't have that little bit on the high ball we can't generate a lot of power. But let's look at this in super slow motion. First let's look at a regular shot here. The ball is going to be about waist high at contact and uh, right here you can see how much I bend my knees and it is a very significant knee bend. It is not quite sitting down in the chair but it's actually not that far away from it. From here I can now uncoil my upper body as well as my legs. The weight is moving forward and upward and that's how I can generate a lot of power. Now let's look at a low ball where I'm going to contact at around knee level. And of course I'm getting even lower here. Take a look right now, see how low I am. There's even more knee bend and most club level players don't get anywhere near this low when they deal with these kinds of low shots. From here I can then uncoil again and generate a good amount of power. Last but not least, let's look at the knee bend uh, on a high ball above shoulder level. Take a look right here, there's still a significant knee bend. Now of course I'm not nearly as low as on the other shots, but I need this amount of knee bend in order to then push off, uncoil and generate power. All right, so now you have an idea of the right amount of knee bend on three typical shots, an average shot, a low shot, and a high bouncing ball. Now it's going to be the same when you're hitting a one-handed topspin backhand or a two-handed topspin backhand. Keep in mind that most likely you're not bending enough and also keep in mind that there is a down and up movement. We do not stay down as we hit the shot. Do you struggle to get enough power on your serve? In my latest serve training program, I reveal the most common problems club level players like yourself have on the serve and how you can fix them. It really all comes down to two key serve power movements that you have to master in order to serve with a lot of power. To find out more about these two key serve power moves, click inside this video right now.